Hello again everybody, thanks for tuning in for another video uh, working through some of the new uh, bootlegs that uh, have come in uh, in the last few days. A um, couple of box sets to show you today, really nice uh, box sets, um, quite excited to get these. First up we've got Bob Dylan, uh, this is Slane Castle uh, 1984. Um, this has come out on CD, um, kind of semi-officially, and on bootleg, um, and it's, it's as everybody will know, is a fantastic performance. Uh, Dylan really on song, um, singing really well, uh, and the, the set list on this show was just uh, phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> the last not half of it but the last third of the show was really featured various um, special guests so you've got Van Morrison, uh, Santana, um, Bono, uh, some people um, criticised his performance on the songs but uh, good to see him, um, uh, Leslie Dowdell, uh, Steve Wickham uh, and it's come out uh, not very recent I think this is about yeah end of last year I think this came out it's not multicolored vinyl which is uh, why initially it didn't really attract my attention but uh, it's uh, it's fantastic to see it on vinyl to be honest and uh, <coughs> I thought it was uh, important for my collection really to have this uh, it says 4LP limited edition recorded at Slane Castle Island, Slane, uh, 8th of July 1984, taken from the original Masters. They made 300 of these, mine's numbered 38. <coughs> so typically you get uh, sort of 8 by 8 um, fold open thing, which has just got the cover front and back with the track listings and then inside some nice shots um, and then the vinyls themselves uh, I think they're kind of slightly marbly if I remember rightly first one is plain green opaque the second one is a much darker green with some marbling slight marbling in it and the third one is another shade of green <laughs> um, and again with some uh, faint marbling in it so uh, the final one is actually a nice marbled green so that's, that's a very attractive disc uh, so yeah, um, not quite 50 shades, but uh, four different greens, Irish theme obviously, um, and it's just great sound, it's great performance, great sound, um, pleasure to put this on and, and listen to it all the way through to be honest. Um, so I was really glad finally to, to get that one. Um, and the other one I wanted to show you this time is the Bowie one. Uh, so this is um, called Let's Dance in the Moonlight. This is a 5LP box on um, Godfather, I think it is. <coughs> uh, this is, they made 350 of these, mine's number 179. Um, and they are splatter vinyl. Um, not the most spectacular, but it's actually quite a slim box, but with five LPs, so it's quite a heavy item. And um, what these are, these are rehearsals from um, the <coughs> Serious Moonlight Tour 1983. So they were recorded at um, Dallas on the 26th and 27th of April, 83. So it's rehearsals day one and day two. So these are spread over five LPs. Um, 
I'm not sure there's anything on it that struck me as something that he didn't actually play in the end. <coughs> but um, Bowie aficionados might know that there are things there that uh, got uh, left out of the show. But obviously it was a fantastic tour. Um, and Bowie at his kind of 80s prime I suppose before he went a bit <coughs> less commercial. Um, so you get the certificate, uh, just a nice te uh, textured certificate, that's the back of it, Godfather Records. <coughs> then you get a nice 12 by 12 insert, uh, which is um, a bespoke Lee design, not just a rerun of the cover. And then you've got some blurb on the inside, um, the band members. So, <coughs> really, really nice things to look at. And the discs themselves, I'll just run through them quickly, but they are all splatted. So they're basically translucent blue, like a turquoisey blue with a yellow, like a dotted splatter, but um, these are quite nice in this particular box. I saw one where the splatters were very sparse, shall we say, but uh, obviously bespoke labels. <coughs> Similar on mine. Uh, when Casino do these um, splatters, they, they do charge extra for them, so they class them as um, deluxe packaging items. They've done a few single single LPs, and they do cost a little bit more. Um, this has been out a while. So again, these are ones that uh, <coughs> I didn't pursue initially, um, for whatever reason at the time, probably lack of funds. Uh, so anyway, so I'll put that away in my <coughs> leisure. So more to come um, to show you uh, splatter, sorry, not splatter, uh, super duper multicolored vinyl stuff from America. Um, and uh, uh, one or two others as well. So thanks for tuning in and see you next time.